Hello Leo, welcome to your love tarot reading. This one is for you and your person, whatever that means to you. Established relationship, new love, double date. Uh, Leo, this is a reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you enjoy my videos, if you vibe with my channel, please subscribe. Seven of Cups, maybe you have some decisions to make. You're not sure which way to turn, Leo. You're not sure which choice to make. Do you have options? Let's see. Um, but yeah, if you vibe with my channel, I thank all Leos who subscribed so far. Um, I'm so honored to know that anyone's watching. But yeah, thank you, Leo. Uh, Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, you're not sure whether you can share your heart with someone, maybe. Some of you. Holding on tight to yourself. Okay, let's see, Leo. Let's see. Uh, what's going on with Leo and their person in the recent past to make the current situation so please, angels? Yeah, there's some unknowns here. Um, Ace of Cups. You have a beautiful love with someone. The love is real. <clears throat> but with the moon here, there is something hidden. Someone isn't sharing all the information 100%. <sighs> I feel oh, weird. And King of Wands. So your relationship was pretty stable or the love felt stable. If it's even if it's like someone you just met. The love felt stable and it felt like... You're pre uh, king of wands, but, you know, the gender is arbitrary. It's just energy. The king of wands, like, this is something, like, it felt like it was uh, a good relationship. It was very solid, but something wasn't entirely known. And may I feel with the moon here, yeah, the death came, death, death jumped out here with, like, a bunch of other cards. Um, king of, okay, king of pentacles. Yeah, lack of stability. I feel like you and your person are not on speaking terms at the moment. Where someone disappeared, like literally disappeared, maybe ghosted you with the moon. You're, you're by yourself. But just know, Leo, that you're protected by the divine feminine. Um, and even in uh, this kind of solitude, the divine feminine is watching out for you, regardless of your gender. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you might be escaping into work. But that's good. Um, yeah, your guides, your guides are uh, with you as well. Okay, King of Wands. I do sense protection for you, Leo. There's a lot of protection. It's like, this person left you all alone. You had this beautiful love, and then maybe suddenly, out of the blue, for no reason, you don't know why, they just disappeared. Yes. Wow, look what you got. The, the moon and the sun. The moon and the sun. They suddenly disappeared, and that shed light on why they for some of you why they disappeared and for others on their true face like who they really are that person let's uh clarify the sun so weird eight of pentacles work again work 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 that's like that that card came out before just a second ago hmm it's like this person was working on something or didn't put in the work in this relationship or maybe it was something in their job is your person a little shady like a frost or something let's do a read for your person who is this person yeah it's someone who's having a lot of problems ten of wands they're really burdened in their life in general and the magician and with the moon here and the sun and the eight of pentacles i feel like your person is a little shady I just did a read for Aquarius where we had a shady character. Um, it could be that this just this person is just not 100%, not 100% honest about what they do for swords. They're keeping a low profile. They're keeping a low profile with you too. They may have disappeared. And they disappeared because something something the light was uh, was illuminating something came to light about their job or finances and they may not be 100% honest for, for a lot of you unfortunately I see that if you're in an established relationship with this person this is someone who wasn't honest about money or something like that uh, and that destroyed the relationship or they disappeared or yeah nine of swords a lot of worry in your life currently uh Leo that's why the uh do we have the seven cups before I can't remember now um uh, but yeah, the four of swords. Yeah, this person is keeping a low profile. They may have ghosted you and they're worried. They're worried. Or, you know, it could be to do with, if it's not money, like a money issue, if it's like a new 
uh, dating situation, not a super established relationship. Could be that the Eight of Pentacles here just means like they just didn't want to put in the work. And if it became very clear to you as you were dating or communicating, you know, in the DMs, whatever it was, that this person just didn't want to put in the work and it became very clear to you very fast. Even though King of Wands, you know, like there's a lot of passion here and a lot of willingness to uh, make this uh, work. But you just like realized they weren't putting in the work. Let's see uh, what is uh, going to be your person's next action towards you. Oh, Leo. They want a new start. They're going to come in strong. They want a new start. But be careful. If it's a ghoster, they might feel like they might be breadcrumbing you again here with the Six of Pentacles. But they're going to come in with an apop. Okay, this person is going to reappear. Whether they did some bad stuff at work or with finances or they want to put in the work into the relationship, whatever it was, there was lies and deceit or just things you didn't know that came to light, right? And they distanced themselves. I feel like for a lot of you, this person just disappeared. Yeah, or ghosted you. If it's in a relationship, uh, says Pentacles, they're going to come in. They're going to ask for forgiveness. Um, but they're also going to be kind of like, well, you need to forgive me because um, if I was emotionally breadcrumbing you, you know, stuff like that, they might kind of want to justify it. And with the Ace of Wands here, they want like a fast, hard, strong, passionate new beginning. And with the Temperance here, they want to... <sighs> It's like they want to make it work, you know? They want, um, they want like a give and take. They want things to, um, to go back to how they were. Like they want things to be calm again because I feel like there was a lot of upset and a lot of kind of um, drama basically around this person because of what came out about them, whatever this thing was about them that came out that made you uh, rethink the situation. Um, but yeah, the Six of Pentacles here is a double-edged sword. It's like they want your forgiveness, but um, maybe they won't be willing. Who knows if they're willing to put in the work. They want to. They they want to. It's like they want to do magic on this relationship now. They, they want to see the rainbow, the hope at the end of this, um, of this drama. Um, let's see how you're feeling about this situation, Leo. How's Leo feeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not like, you're like, hmm. You know, uh, Page of Wands, like, you're fast coming out of this. You're like, I'm ready for new adventures. Knight of Swords here too, you know. Um, bye. What, like, you're tired. You were tired, the Empress, because you're in the Empress energy. Uh, regard, disregard the gender. Uh, as I always say, it's just arbitrary. It's energy. You're like the Empress, you know. Like, you're the ultimate cash, and you know it. And you're thinking, well, you know, if you ghosted me, if you disappeared on me, good riddance. Good riddance. Here's the door, you know. Um, you may have blocked them too, maybe. Nine of Swords. You're like, you know, um, maybe you sent them an angry message. Kind of like just to say good riddance, that kind of thing. You're kind of in and out of this too. And you're sick and tired of this uh uh, energy you're in the nine of swords this person caused you a lot of worry with their drama and their bs whatever came up uh, about them whatever was discovered caused you a lot of worry you couldn't sleep at night because of it you're like awake thinking about it um and you're like you're done with it you you, you, you maybe you send them an angry message and then block them you're like okay bye you, you don't want to talk to me don't talk to me if you disappear on me just dis disappear on me I'm Leo, you know, I'm Leo, I'm the ruler, I'm the empress of the animals, or emperor, or anyone in between. Uh, let's get some advice for you. This person cares for you though, it's not like they don't. They had a reason to ghost you, or maybe for some of you, the, you know, whatever it is about them that came out, whatever secret came to light, or whatever thing came to light, through pentacles, yeah, celebration is a way... It, is, is on the cards for you. Celebration awaits you. Don't lose hope. Um, this person likes you though. Yeah, King of Wands, again. Like King of Wands, they love you. They want to make you theirs. They're, they they want to have new enterprises with you. They want to make it work. They, they want it to be a warm relationship. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's get some more cards of advice. But yeah, I just feel like this person doesn't have necessarily bad intentions. They're just, I don't know. 
it's like a weird situation for you, you know? And yeah, they could have escaped, like, if they ghosted you, it was, uh, it could have been also because they knew something, you were gonna find something out, and to prevent you finding it out, that's why they disappeared and ghosted you. It's very silly, kind of immature. Yeah, it's immature. Yeah, oh my god, Nine of Swords is advice. This person caused you a lot of stress and drama. Stress here, this is a card of stress in this deck. Don't forget it, Leo. Uh, Six of Wands, yeah, a reconciliation is coming and you can allow yourself to celebrate it, but just be mindful of this, you know? It's like, there's like a duality here. Um, let's use another deck now for, uh, for some final advice. I feel like the cards are basically saying, you know, this person re is really into you. This could work. Uh, reconciliation is on the cards, but Nine of Swords, you know, just be mindful that this is, this has been a bittersweet journey. Is that what you really want? Because um, if you have to, if, if this, you know, if this is about uh, someone kind of stringing you along, breadcrumbing you, they come back and then don't change, you can give them a chance. But if they don't change, then like, then you just cut them off completely because that's just not cool. Leo doesn't stand for that. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the High Priestess. Don't give away your thoughts to this person when they come back and they want to reconcile. Don't say yes or no. Keep yourself in the mystery realm, you know? And also be mindful of the fact that you may not know everything about them yet. So reserve judgment. Observe the situation. You will know. You will decide what you need to do. Let's just clarify this uh, High Priestess very quickly for you in case there's any... High Priestess, clarified by the moon. This is a bit of a warning here, Leo. This person likes you. It, it, this is not an impossible relationship, but be on your guard with them. You don't know everything about them. Um, about them. There's stuff coming out about them that might come out in the future that you're not aware of that you, know, you, you need to reserve your judgment for now. Reserve your judgment and the High Priestess. You may find out things you will be very intrigued to know. And with the Nine of Swords here, that's a warning. There could be more suffering. Um, but you can make anything work, you know. It, it all depends on your situation. It all depends on what, um, what part of this reading resonated with you. But I would just say I'm seeing a warning here about this. Um, it's a lot of moon cards here a lot of, from different decks. A lot of, you know, pre High Priestess energy, secrets. Things that are unknown, unseen. Um, this person wants you, though. They're very... Ten of Wands, they're suffering. They're suffering. They know they did wrong. Even though I feel like they're the ones... For most of you, they're the ones who ghosted. They're the ones who disappeared. But they can't... Like, they can't stand this. They don't want to disappear kind of thing, you know? They can't stand the the, the separation. Yeah, it's a compli complicated situation. I wish that was easier, uh, Leo, but it isn't. Uh, thank you for uh, coming here uh, and being here with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. It's such an honor uh, to know anyone's even watching. If you vibe with this video, leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time, Leo. May the angels protect you.